Good evening, it's time for more Manipur. It always is. I wasn't planning on playing tonight, I was planning on making a swift exit to bed, but I just do not like leaving with wars like this hanging over me. Specifically, war with Ayutthaya, and even more specifically, war with Dali. It's a good opportunity to wipe them off the face of the map, however, this is a coalition war, one of the most unfortunate kinds of wars, because you cannot separate piece the targets. So I'm going to have to slaughter them one by one until I can get my favourable piece with Lana. I have promised land to die via it if I remember it well. I was planning on just giving them Song La, but uh, probably won't get off with that since they want more than just that. They want to eat into more of Ayutthaya. Not sure I can tolerate that, because I was kind of wanting this for myself. It's valuable Khmer land. Also, Dai Viet are a bit busy with Ning, although hopefully that'll be over soon, so in a nutshell I gotta bring down Lana, Ayutai, Changsheng, Dali, and Pegu. Except I don't have to bring down Pegu, they're going to be integrated in approximately right now. So what can I do? My forts are ungarrisoned, my army has no morale, and my army is pitiful and lacking reinforcements, my money is tight. Yeah, it sounds like just another war for Manipur here, but let's take a bit of advantage and try to squeeze out any advantage we can. We cannot get a better advisor, unfortunately. Yeah, Lucky's right, I had a bad roll and couldn't crit the bed. Best thing that could happen is that our heir miraculously takes the throne in their strict ways, as well as uh, bloody good monarch points. We'll see us through all this, but I'm not going to rely on it. I will, however, rely on the Accumulate Money mission, because it only requires us to have 600 ducats, and we have someone that can help us out with that. Uh, give us a ducky or two merchant guilds. I'm going to put that to use with a whole host of merc scum. Hell, I'm going to need those. I want to bring down Chang Sheng on the double, so we'll recruit some mercs from the safety of behind the fort in Yunnan, that's right. And that should keep us sweet. Eh, ten of them should be good. I'm gonna split you guys in half as and when I can, and then attract my subjects over to stick to you. Otherwise, I just have to hope that my fortifications can hold out and that our good friend Dai Viet can pave the way on the battlefield. I've got some free diplomats, so I need to make sure that my relationship with Korea and Dai Viet are as good as can be. And we'll get going with them. Jake, why not want let one day... Why not wait one day to let the mission succeed? Well... Wait, what? Oh, right. You meant on the, uh, on the mercenaries, didn't you? That's very clever. I completely forgot about that. No sooner did I mention the mission did I forget about uh, hiring mercs going past that. I'm glad someone's on the ball there. Well, that would have been embarrassing. I really wanted that prestige as well. Wow, I owe, I owe Dennis Wolf a, uh, a big thank you. I don't know what 10 prestige would be in the real world, but I owe you that at least. Now, they're heading up to Guiyang, so they're probably going to want to make their way north to one of these places. So, if anything, it's safer to hire my mercs around here. We'll grab ten of those. Yeah, that extra prestige will probably go a long way. Now, I really want my subjects to attach to me, especially you, because you've got five shock. Best kind of shock. Hmm, what to do with you? Well, knowing that you're heading north gives me a bit more safety than just heading straight over to Yunnan. But I don't want to get caught up by the likes of you guys, so... And again, that should be alright. And I just want you to hold the north there. I'm essentially going to ignore the south and hope that my forts can hold. Otherwise, let's fight. I don't know what a Zaskt is, but I don't think I'm going to be conquering it anytime soon. I want Ayutai to make... Uh, I want Dai Viet to make peace. They have 72 war score. They can really get everything they want. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on that front. So none of you guys want all my mercs over on probably Yunnan. And then we can go and split up to these places. Except I don't want them making any units if we can avoid them doing so. So get on that. 
Now my forts should block them, so should Langshang. Langshang has a healthy variety of two fort. One of them's level four. I made a specific uh, rush to get that for myself. Okay, actually, it looks like he's running back a bit to uh, Ling Yun, is it? Hmm. And then perhaps my uh, perhaps my mercenaries strolling on in are only going to die. So with that in mind, don't go there. Just make your way to Yunnan, but you should make your way to Guiyang. Alright, so he's going south, actually. That works out well for me. In that case, do go there. I got some crushing to do. Do not want to make in a whole load of units. Alright, so in that case, you just make your way there. Yeah, now we'll hold off. Get our units into position before I start thinking too much about that. Looks like Bhutan has come to join up with us. That makes me very happy. And every moment that ticks by is good for us getting these forts up and running. Excellent. And because they were already at war, they being Dai Viet, they already had uh, everything spent there. Dai Viet probably going to want this land as well. Yeah, it's going to be hard times piecing out with Dai Viet as they are. So what can I be doing Richt new? Well, I could be grabbing my cannons and nothing but... And heading over here with any uh, siege general I have, because the faster we take it down the better. Wouldn't mind, you know, more cannon on Ling Yun. Because what I want are the Changsheng units completely routed, and that will be a big relief on the whole war front. Once you're done, you're going over to uh, Liu Zhou. Liu Zhou? Liu Zhou? Ah, I'm no good with these. Lots of people wanting military access, and I'm questioning why I would even consider that. Alright, so it looks like he rather likes his capital. I may want to put a bit of effort into defending it then. I have much better tech than he does, so I don't have much to fear. I have less to fear than do some other governors. Alright, wow, he really wants to fight us there. Which uh, works out badly for me. Because I can't quite escape him. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Yeah, he's probably going to rout my cannons because frontline cannons get uh, obliterated. Or we'll just shoot him to death, but no, the shock phase. Oh, wow. Well, if we roll that good in the shock phase, then I can uh, barely complain. It's a shame that I lose as many cannons as I do. But I would love to rout this guy here and now. Don't know where he's going to run to. Yeah, he's going to run far away, unfortunately. Well, this is what it is. Need another Merc to grab all of this, and we're good. And that being the case, I really don't need all my army right here. So I'd be as well... Hmm, be as well what? Well, I'll grab it all together. They've got the two siege leader. Now just leave the cannons there to their own devices. Not that I really have the manpower to back them up. And then the rest of you... Okay, I changed my mind. You guys can be the one to have people attached to them. Still want those extra cannons here to bring this place down as fast as I can. I can't believe some people think I'm good at this game. Jake, please lower the music volume a bit. If anybody else uh, feels that way, let me know and I will do just that. Otherwise, I'm getting my tens to one. And of course, I'm making great progress on the Chinese uh, achievement here. It's the only one worth grabbing. So, like I said, I want these guys completely uh, eradicated. This is a uh, 
show superiority war, so I need to get all the battle war score that I can. Might even be worth milking this one right here. So I will. They'll be ready on the 13th of July, so that's just a few months away. I'll do exactly that. But I want this, uh, I want this guy eradicated. I also want Lang Shang to come up and attach to me. I'm happy to get the Bhutanese bold fighter, but I need a bit more than that. I'll move my units down so that they're actually <clears throat> in a position to move further south. I should also grab Song La while I'm here. So that's good. I'll have my front units here with people attached to them. You know, sitting in these undefendable provinces. Yeesh. And I should get my mercs together as well, some way, somehow. Good. Mercs, I guess, can take the back. Right, 13th of July. That's a few months away. Hopefully my subject can hold out till then. They're doing their good old pegu routine and uh, driving me up the wall when it comes to my trade income. And it's just Savannah, so it's not even that worth defending. I just hope that Divey had actually uh, go there somewhat. I mean, what are they up to right now? Ah, they're busy dealing with Chi. Chi is a uh, chump change, though. I should be able to take care of those, no problem. But I feel like I should liberate Divey it for them. I do, after all, hate I uh, hate Dally. Jinx, what a Freudian slip. Alright, well, if I have the Bhutanese bold fighter, I think we can go and march together. And bring down the Dally. Hopefully nobody uh, jumps us there. You're down, which is great news for me. I don't know exactly how I'm going to put you to use, but I'll we'll march you uh, over here. Tons of uh, supply limit there. And you're still 13th of July away. That'll make you encounter them. And why fight when you can fight with some uh, extra support? Song lies down as well. Like I said, getting my mercs together in one place. And don't let me down here. Jake, would you still state that Diviet has big balls? After what he did, I would never not say that. Alright, we get in on the same day. With five shock, we would be defender. Not that that really matters for anything. But I do like five shock. Lana is heading north. And there we go. Hardly worth much, but that gets you there. And then you are coming over. <sighs> right. Doesn't route you completely, sadly, but this is, this should be a good bit of routing. Oh, damn, it's good to be the best. And that should give us the war score we need for... No, not quite. Not yet for ticking war score. Lost a bit on the naval battle, but that's no big deal. Ha, even Diviet was there. Didn't even notice them. Should I siege up Dali? They're only going to recruit more units if I leave them. Unfortunately, Alang Shang is up there just uh, being a jolly good pain in terms of war score. Uh, I'm just hoping that Lana don't click their fingers and bring their rather large force down upon me here. Because they're occupying Pegu, and that's not doing me any good. Uh, I need to die Vietnamese down here, and they're working on that. It looks like Chi have been uh, not removed, but. But ho hum, nonetheless. Perhaps we should actually take a step back, because I don't want them routing me right here in Dongkin. You guys should probably make your way north then, because I don't want to leave myself wide open here. It's a real damn shame about Lang Shang there. And my forces are very much not held together here. So how and where do I strike these guys from then? Should get all my units together here, and uh, I hate waiting on someone, but having Diviate here would make a big difference. Okay, he's just keen to siege that up, and thankfully Alang Shang survived, so they're making, they're beating a hasty retreat. 
not the best composition they have there. If I bring a reasonable number of cannon, I should be able to uh, unleash a whole load of whoop-ass on these guys. And then, yeah, they are really occupying some heavy provinces that I do not want them taking. Lana's on their way there. And I'm really thinking that I should be making my way over here and uh, pushing down the Chang Sheng units. But they'd probably just run further back and that wouldn't do me many favours. It's not exactly a difficult fort to take back either. And if Lana get in on that, then that's an unfavourable situation for me. Ayutthaya's capital is going to take forever to uh, fall as well. So, how about it? How about everyone gets on here and I can re-sort out my proper units? If proper is even the right word to be using there. Yeah, we can just be three for just a wee bit. Jam you together, split you in half, split another one of you in half. Have the one that isn't have, not have friendlies attached, the other two do. Have them in their various places, you hold the back. And then, yeah, I think the enemies are far enough away from here that we got a 50-50 shot at saving this province. So let's take it. How is Riga doing? I'll hold that thought. I need better relations with my good friends here. Riga is very much still alive, although under siege by... Uh, Rebels and they're an administrative monarchy, something wrong with that. So if you missed the last stream, you'll know that uh, I really like Europe. We've got a proper Spanish Netherlands. France is not looking so OP. They're fighting actual wars here with Brittany, wow. And the Ottomans, they just turned their back on Europe. They're not having any of that. Hmm. Okay, so apparently the music is quite high, which is strange, but uh, I'll try turning that down just a wee chunk. So someone's asking what the achievement is. I need to conquer and convert the Bengal region to animism, of course. All right, are you going to hold for me, or will I uh, will I be wasting my time here? Not only do you hold, you hold in the best possible way. Somebody is saying that perhaps I should appeal to my nobility and get some levies. Uh, that's actually just right. It's a shame because I would like my mercs to be the ones getting in on the front line here. It'll take them a wee bit of time to get on the... Well, you know what? They can make it, so they will. And I want some more uh, cannon to be helping out here. This fort will hold out for another wee while. There's no river crossing to be uh, enjoyed here. So we can just march our way in. The mercs need to make their way there first, though. So the mercs get there on the 6th. The everything else gets there on the 7th and 8th. And you need to get there just a little bit later. Of course, cannons are always welcome. That's fine as well. Don't know if they'll get many reinforcements, but uh, damn, do I like this five shock general that we've got. Where is he running? Yes, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. The stack wipe on them is very important for me. The cannons can return from whence they came. Although I'm not entirely sure what to do with these guys. Where can they hang out that they're not going to be burning? Yeah, we've got a little slim bit of 25 there, so go for it. I only need one of you to go and deal with that. Then again. Then again, we don't know what the enemy's bringing, so let's just uh, get some overkill if we can. Come on, bring him down. That's it. So now we do not have Chang Sheng involved in this anymore. Which is more, our enemy is going to be very busy sieging down that level 4 fort. Don't care how many cannons they bring, although I do like the disease outbreak that they're getting. This is a good opportunity to come crashing down on one or both of these guys. I can not quite get full cannon bonus on Ayutthaya's capital, but I can work on it. So I think that's what we should be doing. You guys get down here. I have some... How much do I even need to siege this up with? Quite a lot. 
it's a lower level fort than the one they're trying to siege on me and they've just enjoyed a lovely penalty to it. So how about... That's our two siege general right there. Well, need a bit of time to pass there. Gonna send in you with you. And you with you. And you guys... Well, you might as well get to work on these fortifications. Oh yeah, there's also Dally. Dally need to die. Second thought, you guys take care of Dally. Yeah. Those four cannons should make pretty short work of them. Take that. And couldn't hurt to have more in the way of generalship, even if we are over the limit. How do I keep ending up with admirals? I'm squinting here. How in the world did I get this admiral? I swear I had this happen before. Maybe there's some kind of bug that keeps spawning admirals for me. Might be worth investigation, but not right now. You need to attend the Timurid University eventually. Yeah, I want this, but I should be able to just threaten war for Ngari at one point. Or just lay siege to them for it. It's all roads lead to Rome, right? Alright, that should be the end of Dally out of all of this. I don't mind if they spend quite a lot of time on Abba, it's no skin off my nose as long as I grab that Ayutayan capital. Don't like how many units we have here though. I mean, I should be getting my Bhutans and folks out of here, it's just the cannons and those ones that I need. So, uh, how about... Hmm, mm, because I need all the cannons I can get. More would be better. Even our king is working on this. Because this will be the one that my people are attached to right now. So how about we get you guys out of here. I wish I could go and deal with that, but I cannot. Not as long as this fort's in my way. We'll just have you hang out to the north. I just don't want to be enjoying all that attrition. 3% of. Now surely we won't get more rotten luck when it comes to siege rolls. Looks like we've got disease outbreak here already, so... Oh, right, I didn't notice that the Ayutayans had crept up behind me. Hopefully the Dai Vietnamese notice that and actually take action, but they are amazingly sinking the, the uh, Ayutayan fleet, despite the Ayutayan fleet being, uh, or rather having some heavies in it. Fortunately, it looks like Diviate brought in the war galleys, which perform better on the inland seas. But uh, once these guys finish up with this siege, they're going to come and roast me. So perhaps we should start thinking about that. They might go up over to Dali, which is another concern. But none of these provinces are particularly defendable, so we'll hang out up in the north. But yeah, I'm really hoping that uh, Diviate finish up with this war and actually get down and help. Mm, yeah, lots of people here in Korat, eh? Could just split up further. Jake, you get admirals from the lovely Merchant Guild. Oh yeah, I keep asking them for it, don't I? Well, there we go. Mystery solved. Alright, so come on. Yes, good. Diviate have made their peace. Now they're going to come crashing down on Ayutthaya with their massive brass bollocks. And I can rest easy. Heck, they're probably going to hold out against this. Of course they will. Haha, <laughs> Diviate are on their way and they're very, very angry. Yeah, who wouldn't be? And we're making great progress on theirs as well. Come on, 50-50, phone a friend, I'm sure you'll do fine. Doesn't matter if they make it or don't, because I Diviet is going to go and kill them. They have superior uh, shock as well. Oh, okay, they've changed their mind. Don't know why they're giving up the ghost there. 
Perhaps they want to take on the weaker forces. I wouldn't mind if they go for the ones in my territory, but I don't like the Ayutians existing here, so maybe I should chase them down and destroy them. It would be a real investment for my units, but getting Ayutthaya kicked out, as in not having to worry about their units, is a big plus. As in, you really have no idea. Uh, no, Diviate, that will not save anybody. Also, did I just lose control of something because I wasn't paying attention? Also, I have a huge amount of war score. I could probably just peace out now. Um, like, I know this one needs to go over to Diviat. getting big minuses to this due to them still having a lot of power and rightfully enough I haven't occupied anything uh, any forts rather uh, Divey, that's not a wise decision they just instantly died and cost me a large chunk of war score I think alright well we'll show them what large bunch of war score means Some of you have a very interesting idea of a route there, but I guess the occupation there is having uh, some knock-on effects. And we get the river crossing penalty, which isn't so nice, so we'll, uh, we'll move over here and just kind of keep them in check. 